us, all the members of the body. We thank God for you this morning. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Second Kings, the cha amen, the fourth chapter, amen, reading from verse 1. Now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the, of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead, and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord, and the creditors come to take unto him my two sons to be bondmen. And, Eli and Elisha said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me. What hast thou in the house? And she said, Thy handmaiden has not anything in the house save a pot of oil. Then he said, Go borrow thee vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, even empty vessels, borrow not a few. And when thou art come in, thou shalt shut the door upon thee and upon thy sons, and thou shalt pour out into all those vessels. And thou shalt set aside that which is full. So she went from him and shut the door upon her and upon her sons who brought the vessels to her. And she poured out. And it came to pass when the vessels were full that she said unto, that, that she said unto her son, Bring me yet a vessel. And he said unto her, There is not a vessel more. And the oil is stayed. Then she came and told the man of God, and he said, Go, sell the oil, pay thy bill, and live thou and thy children of the rest. If it's that way in your Bible, say amen. amen. This morning for a few minutes, amen, I just want to talk to you about a little faith. Amen. amen. Praise God. Amen. Just a little faith. You may, amen. Praise God. You may have your seat in the house. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We understand based in scripture that the word of God stands on faith. Amen. Bible tells us that the world were formed by the word of God. Amen. And another evidence of faith. The Bible also tells us in the book of Hebrew that faith, amen, praise God. Uh, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. And as we look into the word of God and as we understand the power of the word, we know that if anything is going to happen, amen, salvation comes by faith and through faith. We understand clearly, amen, if anything in our life is about to happen, we have to exemplify faith in order to, for it to be done. Many times as we journey, we don't understand and we don't see the latter end. We don't know what is going to take place. But we are believing God, amen, that it will be done according to his word. But many times we find that we complain a lot, amen, praise God. And we are unsure about a lot of things and unsurety, amen, and anxiety come when we are not sure what direction God is taking us. The Bible talks about, amen, Joseph and it says amen praise God that Joseph was his father's favorite and God had amen praise God selected Joseph for a purpose but even with Joseph not even knowing what the purpose was amen Joseph life and journey became very difficult but even as we watch the life of Joseph we see that praise God from prison to Potiphar's house amen praise God hallelujah from pit to Potiphar's house from Potiphar's his house amen to prison we see that Joseph had to believe God and in every one of his journey he did not complain he had nothing to complain about in every place that God placed him the Bible showed us that Joseph used a level of faith believing God that he would see him through amen and so we see amen even when he was praise God out of prison into Potiphar's house amen into the palace amen we see that that the expected and what God had in store for Joseph, amen, we understand what it was. But during his journey, as we visit his journey, we see, amen, praise God, the favor of God upon Joseph's life. Not only the favor of God, amen, but we see the anointing and the spirit of God as the man of God, amen, 
kept himself for the will of God and for the way of God. He trusted God all the way. He believed God all the way. In the book of the Psalm, they said they put fetters on his feet. He was chained, but he still believed God. His situation had become really dim, but he believed God. Is there somebody in the house? Amen. And so we understand that we walk by faith. Not by sight. The Bible tells us, amen, that the just shall live by faith. And as we go forth and as we believe God, it becomes a challenge at time to trust God. Is somebody with me? Amen. To each level that we are going, it becomes really difficult to trust God. The more we grow and the more we get closer to God, it seems like the more that we have to, amen, muster up some faith. Because in order for us to get to the next level, we have to really and truly believe God. We might have been down this road before, but even then, praise God, we still have to trust God. Somebody praise God in the house. Somebody give God praise in the house. Somebody glorify the name of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And so amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. And so we walk by faith this morning. Not by sight this morning. But there are times our situation cripples our very mind and our very heart. Sometimes some devastation hit. A big blow hit. Amen. And it takes a level of faith to pass over it. Is somebody here with me? Is somebody here with me? Amen. But that's when God has to take over. Man can't get into this. Man can't middle with this. This is when you get to understand that the God you serve is able. This is when when you get to understand that he who has begun a good work in you shall perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Amen. It's when we can't see God that he's there. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus remind us in his word that he will not leave us nor forsake us. So even when we're going through, he's with us. Even when we can't see him, he's still with us. Hallelujah. I said the just shall live by his faith this morning. The just shall live by his faith this morning. Gird up your lines and know that without faith, it is impossible to please God. Amen. The Bible reminds us we stand on this faith because Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Whatever we are going through, he's still God. Hallelujah. Whatever experience, whether it's an amen, amen, a lion's dead experience, he's still God. Amen. Whether it's a fire, fire furnace, he's still God. Whatever it is, God is still God. Hallelujah. Amen. It is common nature for us to evaluate as soon as something happens. For us to evaluate what are we experiencing? Why are we going through a man? And we start to look at it with our natural eyes. But we must, amen, praise God, tap into our faith and that's difficult when you're really going through it's difficult to remember that God has this thing it is difficult because you're walking you're feeling it you're experiencing it and it becomes really difficult but in order for us to be overcomers we have to trust God amen Things might seem unsettled at times and it might seem unfavorable. Amen. As we are going through our day-to-day -day season, we are even, amen, praise God. Some people might not even understand. Amen. There are those that will criticize. Amen. Even though we wrestle not against flesh and blood, there are some that don't understand. Amen. If we are going to trust God, we got to give him our all in all. We got to put everything in the master's hand. Amen. The choir says, this this and that in the master's hand God is still in the midst of us he's the God of the midnight situation he's the God amen praise God of our day situation he's still God when no one else is there amen in our tears he's still God amen in vexation of heart he's still God in our pains he's still God when we're sick he's still God but all God need is just a little bit of faith all God need is something to work with and if you give God something to work with. He'll carry you from level to level. He will see you through. God will not put you to be ashamed. Somebody give God praise in the house. 
the Bible lets us know, amen, praise God in the book of Acts, that it was Paul and Silas, amen, that was thrown in prison. And it could have been a different situation. We know how it ended, but it could have been different. They could have been in, in, in prison, amen, doing the blame game. They could have been in prison, amen, having, amen, a conversation that was negative to their fate. Are you with me, somebody? They could have been in there complaining and resenting even their very ministry. They could have, amen, because they found that they had done nothing but please God. And on their journey to please God, they found themselves locked in prison amen praise god they could have it could have been different the situation could have been prolonged they could have been amen praise god in a place of defeat but they did not see defeat they saw a place and a place where god could work they saw a place where they could challenge god they moved by faith and the bible said they begin to praise god they begin to worship god they begin to glorify god when I begin to lift up the name of God even in a dire situation when it seemed like that was the next step they trusted God anyhow and the Bible said while they were praising God while they were glorifying God while they were magnifying God amen the presence of God came in and when the presence of God came in it destroys every yoke when the anointing of God comes in and because of the praises and because of how they glorify God the Bible said amen the anointing of God somebody can't hear me the anointing of God came and shook the very place in the midst of the praise the anointing of God came and break the shackles the anointing of God came and opened the prison door I'm talking about the midnight in the midnight hour when you don't know what to do but have a song in the midnight hour when you find that your midnight is even in the middle of the day give God praise any hour because God inhibits the praises of his people God lift up the amen praise God God will not put us to shame. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All it takes is a little bit of faith. Glory to God. All it takes is a little bit of faith. Amen. A faith like a mustard seed. Amen. And so we got to get. We're called this morning to get to a place. That I'm believing God. I don't see but I'm believing him. It's not stirring but I still believe him. I don't see anything happening but I still believe him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The panic is over. I'm still believing God. Amen. In the opening strip, scripture. The Bible talks about a woman, a widow. That had come, she had gotten to a place, she had come to the prophet Elisha. She found herself in a place of destitution. She was in a place that the end was over. The Bible made it clear, amen, praise God, hallelujah, that her husband was not just a nobody, but he belonged to the schools of the prophet. He was one that Elisha had grown up and a man, praise God, a tutor, but death had come to him. It didn't say how old he was, but we know that he had a wife and he had two sons, amen. And it seemed like he did not have a lot of asset to offer. Or whatever he had, it was gone. It was used up. Amen. His assets had dwindled down until there was nothing left him. And so this woman, amen, found herself in a place where at her very doors, the bondmen were coming, the creditors were coming. Amen. It was not just, amen, a change in her credit score that bothered her. It was not that they were going to repossess her house or her car that bothered her. 
What was taking place is that her sons would go into servitude. They would become bondsmen, amen. The creditors would have made them bondsmen. They would become servants, amen. Praise God. Laborers, amen. And that means her life was over. Because her sons, amen, were her inheritance. And if you take the inheritance, you have this, amen, bring disorder to the family. And so the woman was going to lose her sons. Her life would have been over. Hope was gone. But the Bible lets me know, amen, hope seen is not hope. She had saw no hope. Amen. They were taking her very life. They were sapping our strength. It was all she had left, amen, but God. Amen. It was all she had left. But God has a way of showing up in the most neediest time. God has a way, man, hallelujah, because he's not afraid of challenges. Her situation seemed dire, amen. Hope was totally lost. There was no way out, but it was still God. Amen, hallelujah, glory to God. The Bible said that, amen, Elisha called, as the woman went to Elisha, he asked her a question. What do you have in your house? What is left? What do you have left? Is there anything left? Do you? They have taken everything. You have no money. You have no help. Everything is gone. You are, you are struck naked. There is nothing left. What do you have left in your house? And the question was that. He asked her, what did you have left in your house? And she said, all I have. That word reporting. All I have. Amen. She didn't talk about the, br- the chairs or the table. She said, all I have is a little oil. Can I talk to you about a little oil? Can I talk to you about the little oil? Just a little more oil in my lamp. Keep me burning. Just a little more oil, I pray. Hey, can I talk to you about the little oil in the vessel? Can I talk to you about the little oil that you have left? All I have on the inside is just a little faith. What do you have in your house? I can't move no mountain right now. I feel like I can't move mountain. I feel like I can't run through troops. But all I know I still have is a little faith. I don't have the energy right now. I don't feel like I can take down Goliath. But I know that all I have is a little faith. Tell somebody just a little faith. Just a little faith. Hallelujah. If you're trying to sum me up by my outward appearance, I don't have nothing. If you're evaluating me by my walk foot because I don't have no car. If you're evaluating me by by my house, I don't have no house. Hallelujah. I don't have nothing to show. But on the inside of me, I just have a little more oil. On the inside of me, I just have a little faith. Just a little oil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just a little flick. I got a flick of hope on the inside. Hallelujah. Somebody shout glory. One more time, shout glory. One more time, shout glory. Elisha said, Miss Widow, what do you got left? I don't have no more shoe. I don't have no more dress but the one I have on my back. I don't have nothing else to offer. But in my house, I got a little pot with just a little oil. I only have one thing of value. I don't have nothing that is valuable. Because you have to remember... She was stripped now. She had nothing left. When one woman had a little meal and a little oil, she ain't got no meal. All she had was just a little oil. Nothing else. Nothing for you to evaluate me by. All I have is the faith that moves the mountain. You can't see, but that's all I have. The man of God said to her, just go and borrow some empty vessels. 
and come into your house, the very house, and shut the door, you and your sons. Hallelujah. Just shut the door. Shut out the doubt. Because some people don't understand what you're going to use, the little that you have. And they won't understand what your God is going to make you do with the little that you have. Because little is much in the hand of God. Amen. Sometimes we try to evaluate and say we cannot do it. But I remember the scripture that says I can do all things to Christ who strengtheneth me. I can do this thing because God is still able. Amen. God is still able to do exceeding abundantly above all that I ask or even think. I just have a little bit to, for God to work with. And that's all God is asking for. God is asking you for something for him to work with. All God needs is something to work with. It doesn't matter how you see it. Just give God something to work with. God just want to see a level of faith. God wants just to want to see that you believe. God just want to see you in a position where he knows that he can trust you. A position where he can prove you. Somebody give God praise in the hand. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody bless God in the house. Oh glory to God. So God is looking for a level of faith. It was Paul that says, show me your faith without works. And I'll show you, and I'll show thee my faith by my works. Amen. Faith, if it is not, amen, it has not works, it is dead being alone. Amen. Yeah. So God is looking this morning for just something. Just something. Just 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 you saying, I want to do this by faith. I'm believing you're gone. It's you holding on and say, I won't let go. God until you bless me. I just, I just want just a little. Just God is just looking for a little thing. It was Elijah on Mount Carmel that said, when he said, go look again. He said, I see a man, clouds like the fist of a hand. Just a little, just a little hand. How can a little hand bring rain? Amen. I just see a little cloud. Nothing big. God just wants something in you some hope in you something that you're gonna amen praise god that he will make it big amen hallelujah that he will explode so god is looking for a level of faith to activate amen what he's about to do too many times amen we have worked it out ourselves from the beginning to the end amen praise god in full day detail god is not looking for that situation amen you got that situation already you already balanced the books you already planned the plan you already set the set you already moved everything on your there's no space for god so god is backing out of that but god is looking for somebody amen that have nothing amen but all they have is a little faith and they're believing god for great things and big things God wants to work God wants you to put him to work God wants you to challenge him that's the only way God can get any glory in a time and an age like this amen praise God if you will just allow yourself amen to believe God tell somebody I believe God I'm believing God on this tell somebody I'm believing God amen thank you Holy Ghost somebody give God praise and so God can handle a challenge. How many of you know he can handle a challenge? Amen. God works in the impossible realm. Amen. So when you are trying to fix it yourself, God can't do nothing in it. When you are a thinker and a producer of your own mind, God can't work in it. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. But God work, works in the impossible realm. He specializing into mountain moving miracles. That's what he does. That's where he comes in. He comes into the miraculous realm. Amen. He comes when there is nothing that no man else can do. He, amen, praise God. When the doctors would have tried everything, that's when God steps in. Because there was a woman with an issue 
drunk blood, amen, for 12 long years. Amen. She spent all she had at the doctors, amen. Praise God. There was nothing else could do. That woman was just waiting unless God did something. She just waiting to bleed out to death. Are you with me, somebody? But the Bible said that Jesus was passing through. Are you still here with me? The Bible said that Jesus was passing through. And she purposed in her mind, hallelujah, if I could just touch the hem of his garment. All she had, she had no strength left. She had no money left. All she had was the faith of believing. If she could just touch the hem. She didn't want to touch his skin. She didn't want him to speak a word. She didn't want to, amen, praise God, to interact. She was just going to touch and leave. She said, if I could just touch her, whatever it meant, if I have to go on my knees, I'm going to press through the crowd. I know I'm at risk, amen, of being stoned to death, but I'm going to take the risk anymore. Anyway, and I'm going to exercise my faith, and I'm going to touch her, amen, with a little level of faith. I'm going to touch the hem of his garment. And the Bible said, amen, that Jesus says, uh, virtue has left my body. Somebody touch me. Who touched me? Somebody touch me. God is looking for somebody to touch him by the level of your faith today. To extend your faith and touch him. Touch him, amen, by faith. What do you have in your house this morning? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody said, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Our thoughts are not his thoughts. Neither are ways his ways. Amen. We are believing God. If you are believing God, give him praise. Amen. Hallelujah. You see, we are impede. We are ushering doubts. Because we are looking for a God. Did I say a God? Because you know when you, you refer to God, you don't put an A, the article A before him. Amen. Hallelujah. We are looking, but we are looking for a God that we can put in a genie bottle. We are looking for a God that can work it out when we almost finish it out. Are you with me? That's the kind of God we're looking for. But the God that, amen, hallelujah, that of the Bible, the God that talks of faith, the Lagos, the word of God, is looking for a people that just believe him. A crazy people that know that, amen, praise God, that greater works will we do because we go unto the Father. God is looking for some people that will trust him anyhow. You don't have the last dollar, but I still trust him. You only have two mites, but I'm still trusting him. You can't see, but I'm still believing him. I know that I can't see, but I know that God will do it. Hallelujah. I'm feeling this thing. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. We only see what is doable to us. Amen. But God is looking for somebody to push past that. To push past every doubt. To push past everything that would hold you back. And say, I'm still believing God. Amen. My husband ain't saved, but I'm still believing God. My children ain't saved, but I'm still believing God. My body ain't healed, but I'm still believing God. My money's acting funny, but I'm still believing God. Because I have the faith. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. God will show up when we, amen, praise God. In due time and due season. Amen. His time is not our time. Our time is not his time. When we think that God should show up, God might not show up. God just know when to show up. He's still an on-time God. Somebody give him praise in the house. He's still this on time God. He never fails us. Amen. He's still the God of the morning and the God of the evening. He's the God of the valley and the God of the mountain. He's a show of God and he's our show of God. He's God all over the place and he's God by himself. He's electrifying. He's God that is able. He's God the keeper. He's God the butler. He's God my shield. He's God my hope. He's God. Hallelujah. And I give him the praise. I give him the honor. And I give him the glory. He's God all over me today. Somebody give God praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
Amen. Today we're pushing past. We're pushing past. That our faith only operates with what our hands can do. We are pushing past. Amen. Amen. That our faith only operates with what is in our pockets. We are pushing past. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The place that we have limited God. But God will work with what level of faith. Just a measure of faith. And move, amen, from the tangible to the spiritual. God works in the impossible realm again. Amen. For there's nothing that is too hard for him. The Bible says, you see, you've got to understand that we have, amen, a, 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 a hookup with God. There's a communication piece that God hears us. Some of you know what I'm talking about. There is something about when the believer cry out to God. Is somebody here? The Bible said, amen, when Jesus was leaving Jericho, amen, praise God. That there was a blind man by the name of Bartimaeus, amen. Hallelujah, that found out and heard that Jesus was passing by. Jesus leaving Jericho, amen, praise God. And he was walking on the road, amen. And if he is leaving Jericho, chances are he might be even heading, amen, in the direction of Jerusalem. But he was leaving and this man heard and heard the commotion and realized that Jesus was there. And when he recognized that Jesus was there, the Bible said that, amen, he cried out. Amen. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. I'm saying if you just have a level, a little level, a little level, a little twinkling of faith. This man cried out. He recognized this was an opportunity. But when you have a level of faith, you have a connection with God. You're able to zone in and you're able to connect. Amen. He will hear your cry. Amen. And he will answer by and by. God have a way of hearing you when you cry out to him. In the time of desperation when you cry out. The Syrophoenian woman cried out and said my daughter is vexed with a spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. And God heard. Jesus heard her. And so this blind man cried out. And the Bible said amen. The disciples told him to hold his, hold his peace. Amen. But he cried out even the more. Because he had the faith to believe. He had the faith. He knew this was an opportunity to move. This was an opportunity, amen, to see again. And the Bible said he cried out even the more. He made a desperate cry. Amen. But when he cried out, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. The Bible said, amen, that Jesus stood still. Amen. I'm talking about this pressure of faith. Amen. Stood the master. The master, he stopped in his track. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And my God, and he touched the man and he was healed. I'm talking about what you have in your house today. Just a little bit of faith. And so this woman cried out. To Elisha. Amen. And the prophet told her. What to do. A spirit of obedience. To the last detail. A spirit of obedience. The little bit of faith you have. Can't mix with doubt. You got to be in a place of obedience with God. You got to be obedient. They obeyed. He, she obeyed the man of God. The creditors were at her door. She said, excuse me, I sue me back. I sue me back. I sue me back. And all of a sudden, the creditors are standing there and they're walking in with all these vessels. Can I just let you look at it? Because they said the creditors had come. They didn't say they were on their way. They didn't say they sent a notice. They didn't say it was an email. They said they had come. With shackles. Ready to take her son. And she had gotten so desperate. She passed them. She said, I saw me back. You ain't getting my son. Double your lie. You ain't getting him. You ain't going to chain him. You ain't going to bond him. You, gotta, you ain't going to carry him. He ain't going to be a slave to the devil. He ain't going to be a slave here. He's got to be loose. Hallelujah. 
Glory to God. Oh, blessed be the name of God. So she was in a place. There's a time when you have a little bit of faith that you got to get radical with it. Amen. I might not have the faith you have, but I might just have just enough to spark God. And so the woman, amen, praise God. She went ahead and she believed God. I imagine the creditors are standing there with their shackles and their chains and their keys. And she's passing them. But, 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 but remember, we, we're here. Just a minute. And she's passing them with her, with her empty vessel. She's in there. And they're passing and they're going in. And the boys that are ready to be shackled are carrying their hands are full with vessels. And they're carrying vessels. Empty vessels. Into the house. Amen. And then they shut the door. Shut the door on them. Thank you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And while they're out there contemplating what they think they can do, God was on the inside working. Amen. When they were, because the prophet didn't come in the house. The prophet was not in the house. Amen. He just gave the instructions. The Bible says, believe my prophet and so shall you prosper. The prophet wasn't in the house. He just sent a word. He said to her, go and borrow a man. And the word borrow there means request some vessels. Up your neighbors. And shut the door. And he, they did. They shut out doubt. He didn't come in to say, I'm going to pour it out. He wasn't there to watch the vessels pouring and pouring. He just believed. And some of us, we can't believe. Disobedience has taken in. Partial obedience is still disobedience. Delay obedience is still disobedience. Some of us have delayed the word of God. God has given you a word and told you what to do. And you have delayed it and played with it. And think that when your time is ready. You will do what you have heard. Amen. That has passed over. Amen. Delayed. Amen. Obedience. Amen. Is still disobedience. Partial obedience is still disobedience. She could have bar borrowed the vessels and left the door open. And that would be disobedience. It would be partial obedience. And it would still have been disobedient. And the miracle could not have taken place. Because the miracles came. Amen. With condition. The miracles came with clear conditions. She had. They had to believe. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of you get it, but some of you, amen. You've been told to do something, but you do it halfway. haphazard, Amen. Not trusting God. But the prophet made the instructions clear. Amen. He said, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Go borrow the vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, even empty vessels. Borrow not a few. As many as you can borrow, I would still be borrowing. Amen. And when thou art come in, many of us would only have borrowed one. Because it don't make sense. And when God don't make sense is when he works. Amen. Go wash in the river of Parpar and Abana is when God don't make sense that it works. When God don't make sense that it works because we want it to make sense. And why we are where we are because it don't make sense to you. And so praise God the woman borrowed as the man of God said. And the next instruction he gave her he said amen praise God. And when thou art coming thou shalt shut the door upon thee. And thy sons, amen. He did not leave them out, amen. And upon thy sons, and thou shalt pour into all those vessels, and thou shalt set aside that which is full. Amen. 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 Some of us would have full some and hide it under the bed because we weren't sure what the man of God was going to do. Amen. We weren't sure. They're going to say, my God is being filled. But I ain't go, are you kidding me? I ain't telling him. We, we got some Ananias and Sapphira in the middle of the miracles. Amen. We wouldn't we, 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 we would make it clear. Some of you would tell them to hide some under here and some over there. Because you don't know what, 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 what are you going to do with all this my oil? What are you going to do with my oil now? This is all mine. What are you going to do with it? 
because we can't trust God. Our faith will not allow us to trust God. Are you with me? The Bible said, amen, praise God. So we got to shut out doubt when we have that flicker of faith in our, on the inside. The Bible says she began to pour out the, from vessel to vessel until there was no, amen, until it was finished. Amen. God wants you to understand, amen, the oil never ran out. The vessels ran out. It was not the oil that ran out. The miracle was ongoing as long as her faith level, the vessels were there. Stay with me, somebody. As long as, the faith, as long as your faith is present and active, there is an ongoing miracle, not just one. God will ongoing, there will be an ongoing, amen, miracle, a continuous in your life. Your needs will be met based on your faith level. It is not that God just gave you enough faith for one vessel and for one thing to be done. It is not that the oil finished, it was that the vessels were finished. Stay with me. It wasn't the oil. It was the vessels. And some of us have faith just to heal the ankle. But not enough faith to heal the knee. Because we thought the faith was just for the ankle. When the faith is for the knee and for the head and for the... We want to limit God. Hallelujah. Let me close. I want to limit God. You see, our faith level... Is that it, how many of you believe God? Amen. For one thing, but your faith level can't go to the next thing. You believe that one victory is all the victory you need. You believe that's all that God has when God is saying, if you have another vessel, your vessel here now, amen, the borrowed, the empty vessel is the situations that is coming. Amen, the situation that seems empty and cannot be filled, cannot be rectified. But if you trust God, the same level of faith, you don't have to get a new faith. You don't have to reignite the faith, the same level of faith. Amen, that's all God needs to work. Just a little something to work with. And the same level of faith will move that very mountain. Will tear down that valley. The same level of faith will change situation. Tell somebody I can do this thing. I believe God for this thing. Everyone standing. When you let go doubt. God is able. In the middle of trouble, God is still able. Just a little, you see, we give up. We, 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 we have, all of our phones have what we call a stopwatch. And a stopwatch, I use it all the time when you're speaking. And I put seven minutes on there. Or I run it to seven minutes, and then I know the time is up. Many of us, that's how we work with God. We give God the stopwatch. And we say, God, we want you to do this thing. But then we start to watch. And if he's taking too long, This is what's going on here. We want to give up. We still can't walk by faith, not by sight. We get vexed in our spirit and we vex everybody around us. It didn't happen on my date, the date that I pick. Did you stop to? Acknowledge God concerning this date or this thing. Or did you just pick a one and, and decide? You make your decision. You can talk to God about seasons because he works in seasons. But some of us, we get disgruntled in our spirit when it don't happen when it's supposed to happen. We get so we mad. There are times when we're mad with the whole world. Because it's not... We can't see it. 
We can't believe it. It's not manifesting. It's not coming forward. It's not birthing. But when God is moving, when you get to the birthing table, amen, praise God. The word of God says you don't even have to have labor pains when God is moving. God said, who ever heard such a thing? That before you even travail, you give birth. That's when God is working in the miracle realm. You're not even have got to travail. Can you imagine those creditors leaving? When she starts selling. And had enough to live on. Pension plan. Done. Because the man of God, her husband was a man of God. He was a prophet. And we know in those days, there's not all the prophets are well, well off. Only a few. So they had enough to live on, the scripture said. This morning. Just a little faith. In your spirit to move this mountain. God wants something from somebody to work with. God, I have just, a, just, a, just I have a little bit of faith that I want you to work with this morning. If that's your testimony, raise your hand. God, I just have a, I have a little. I, I, I know I have, I know I have in my spirit just a little bit of faith for you to work with. Just a little bit. I don't have a. I don't have a lot like some people. Some people have enough to tear down high places. But I just have, I just have enough. I just a little bit. I just have a flicker. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. <laughs> let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. I just don't let Satan blow it out. I'm going to let it shine. I just, what, what I have right now, God, is just little. It's so tiny. A speck, a mustard seed fade. So tiny that I, I can't even find it. But I know it's there. But I know you can see God. And it's this faith that God is going to move your mountain this morning. I want those of you with your hands up right now, right where you are. It's a faith level this morning. It's a faith level. It's not all the time, amen. We can get this done. This morning... This morning, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Oh, raise your hand this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Raise your hand this morning. Raise your hand this morning. Raise that level of faith this morning. That level of faith. That level of faith. Just a little... That's it. Raise that level of faith. You're raising. Raise that level of faith. Raise that level of faith. Offer it up to the Lord this morning with thanksgiving and praise. Offer it up this morning. This morning, prepare to offer it up. Just a little bit of faith to move this mountain. That's it. I see faith. Raise it up. God is looking at the heart behind that raised hand this morning. And he's listening to your thoughts this morning as you raise by faith. Little enough to move mountain. Little enough to calm raging seas. All you have to do this morning, we have to do is show God that we have it and he will do the work. That's it. That's all he's asking for. He said to the centurion, according to your faith. I've never seen such faith in all Israel. This morning, that's your faith. Just a little bit enough while you're talking to God. Talk to God this morning. Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Hallelujah. Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Raise it assertively. Just believe in God greatly, greatly, greatly. Raise it by faith. Whatever it is, God, you can do it. Lord, we don't have to jump through troops and hoop over wall. It was Elijah and Mount Carmel, God. While the prophets of Baal cut themselves 
and jumped and stomped and screamed. You only said the God that answers by fire would answer now. This morning, the God that answers by fire, we're asking you to answer now. Our faith is lifted up, oh God, just believing you concerning the things that we have committed unto you. This morning, God, we are pouring out. We don't have much, God. We don't even know how to mustard it up sometimes. But we know, God, that we believe you because we're standing before you this morning, God. We know, God, that you're able, God. And so this morning, it is through you, God, that we live and move and have our being. And so this morning, our faith lift up to you, thou Lamb of Calvary. Oh, God. Your love lifted us up this morning. Every hand that is raised before you this morning. I'm asking you, God, that you would see the heart behind the hand. The situation, the bleeding situation, the bleeding. Some have been bleeding and bleeding and bleeding, God. The bleeding situation, God. The things that have, it has, oh God, it has gotten to a place that it now stinketh. Oh, God, it has now stinked. It's gone to that place. It has moved to a level. And this morning, God, we're asking you to look upon our faith this morning. Just, just a little flicker of hope. We're giving you the praise, the honor, the glory, God. Because, God, something for you to work with, God. We stand before you. You're the resurrection. And the life you told Martha, you're the resurrection this morning. We ask you, O oh God, to look upon our faith and bring resurrection life to the situation. Heal and deliver. Heal and set free. Save, O oh God. Move by your spirit this morning, God. Touch us right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift up a burden, God. Hear our cries. Wipe away our weeping eyes, our tears. We're believing you, God. We're believing you and we're believing God. That the just shall live by faith. Just a little bit, God. I don't know what tomorrow brings. But I'm putting tomorrow in your hands, oh God. I don't know where my journey will take me. But God, by faith, I'm believing you. Oh God, this morning I'm trusting you, God. Look at my little faith. See, God, it might not be as big as somebody else, but it's just, oh, God, I'm believing, God, that it, this measure of faith is enough to do this thing. I'm believing you this morning, God. I'm believing you, oh, God, that you would touch among us, God, and that you would resurrect and that you would change. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Williams, come. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. 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 Can do. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God. What is done hallelujah. for others. Oh, blessed be the name of God. He will do. For you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, His blessed be the name of God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank God. He will pardon you. Hallelujah. It is no secret. The journey is not over yet. What God can do. God has full control. Be still and know that he's God. No secret. Right in the midst of turmoil, be still. What God can do. God has the ability to speak to your situation. What is done. And every weapon that is formed against you will not prosper. He'll do for you. I feel the spirit of God working even right now. The power of the anointing is working. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, blessed be the name of God. A change is coming place. We decree and declare it so in the name of Jesus. Raise your hands and receive this thing by faith with a level of faith that you have. 
Put it right now, everything in the hand of the Lord. Take nothing out, take nothing back. Even in the midst of, I see trouble, I see trouble. There's so much trouble that is around you. But the peace of God. Hallelujah. Rest upon you right now, woman of God, in the name of Jesus. Oh! Oh, receive God. Receive the power of the anointing of God. Enough to carry through this journey. I speak peace to your situation right now. I command it so in the name of Jesus Christ. I command it so according to the word of God. Breakthrough now in the name of Jesus. Bring break for it. Rest now. Rest in God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on and give God praise. What a God. Hallelujah. Janae, come. It is no secret. What God can do? What is that for others? There's a war in your member. It's not a new fight, but there's a war. A, a, a heavy war. A strong warfare. And a determined enemy. That is trying to take you. And at times you're not strong enough. Because you feel like giving up many times. You feel like letting go. Because. What's the use? Nothing is happening the way you thought it would have happened. But God loves you. God loves you. And you love the Lord. But you don't know how to express it anymore. You don't know what to do. And this morning, just the level of faith that you already have. God has not reneged his promise to you. You might not see it right now, but God is still in the midst. And so, this morning, I want you to repeat after me. I want you to say, dear God, take me as yours. My mind, my thoughts, my inner being, I give it all to you. Help me, God. Where I'm weak, strengthen me, lift me up, carry me, carry me, God. I can't carry myself. I can't do this by myself. My mind is troubled. Fear is knocking. Doubt is knocking. And I just don't know where to stand. But I'm looking to you this morning to strengthen me in every fiber of my mind, in my body. God, I'm asking you to help me. Help me, Lord. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I come against this warfare. Strengthen her, God, for she has a purpose. Oh God, you can use her for your honor and for your glory, God, because you have called her and you have set her apart for a purpose. Strengthen her, God. I command the warfare to cease in the name of Jesus Christ. Loose right now in the name of Jesus. Strengthen her mind. In the name of Jesus, I come against the spirit of confusion. In the name of Jesus Christ, bless her according to your word. Bless her according to her. Cover her. Cover her. Cover her. Cover her. Cover her. Cover her. For it is no secret. Oh, blessed be the name of God. Carry God her, God. Can do. Carry her, carry her, carry her. Carry her. What is done the Lord loves you. He'll do. You don't want to leave his presence. 
you really, there's a part of you that yearns for God more than a lot of people in here. You have a yearning desire for God. You have a yearning desire, but, but the trouble that comes and you keep asking, why me? Why, 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 why do I have to go through this warfare? But the peace of God rests upon you today. And you will not be the same after today. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Be set free right now. In Jesus' name. Be set free. In Jesus' name. We thank God right now. In Jesus' name. I want you to take this direction. Listen to me. The only thing I want you to say in the warfare is Jesus. Nothing more. When it comes, say Jesus. And you begin to dwell back into the word of God like you did a few years ago. Go into it like you're going, like the art panted after the water brook, so panted my soul after thee, O oh Lord. Because that's where your refuge is and your shield and your butler. That's where your warfare, because of your intellect and your ability to think is where you attack most. And God will answer you in his word. Drink the water. Drink the word like you're drinking water. As you have never done before. Start drinking. And drinking the sincere suck of the milk. Drink, drink, drink. And you're going to see something that is going to happen that you will know. You will see God. For the first time you'll say, I'll see him. I have seen God. And people say, how could you have seen him? He said, I don't know, but I've seen God. Go this way and drink, woman of God. Come on and give God praise. Oh, blessed be the name of God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Stoner, come. It is no secret. Sir, if you could just listen. If you can just listen. With all that you've been doing, God still has his hand upon you. But he can't wait for you. Can't wait. Can't wait. You have not been obedient in nothing that God has told you. You have not maintained any of the journey. I wish I could have told you differently, but I, I can't. The Spirit of God says His hand is still upon you. And He's giving you another chance. Break off the sin. Break off the sin that so easily beset you. Set yourself apart from the weight. Let go of the sin. God has a purpose, a map that is set up for you. You have to clip and cut, chop and demolish. I don't know if you're going to be obedient. I don't even know if you're going to do anything that you're told today. I stood here, I said, but God, should I still call him? I really didn't want to call you, to be honest with you. But the Lord said, call to tell you. To break up your fall of ground. Break off your sins. Let go and let God. He still has a purpose for you. He still has a call on your life. But this is your last chance to do what God says. Raise up and break off now. Let go and demolish now. Tear down now. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit of God have to say unto the church. 
I pray for your strength only today. Nothing else. To strengthen him to do what God says to do. God has given you a voice on the inside. And he has put his spirit. He has his spirit ready to guide you. And to anoint you and to set you apart. But you must be obedient. Total obedience. Let this be a warning to your son. Let this be a warning to you, son. Let this be a warning. Let it go. Let them go. Let it go. Live for the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Hallelujah. And you can't go anywhere. This is where God has called you from. You can't go nowhere. No matter how hard you try. You can't go. So this morning. Break it off son. God has a purpose. It is so clear. It is so clean cut. But if you could only be obedient, you'll reap the fat of the land. Go and take heed this morning and do accordingly in Jesus' name. Go, son. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody give God praise this morning. Oh, blessed be the name of God. Oh, blessed be the name of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. 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 What is done? Praise God. Raise your hand. Just a little faith this morning. You feel like a rag doll. That somebody's dragging. Like something is just dragging you. Like, like, like a rag doll that it's like it's like you have no strength to fight back anymore. And God has called you to be a radical woman. You're to be a warrior. You have the spirit of the warrior. But now you feel like a drag, like a doll being dragged, like a piece of drag doll. That, that just, just situations and circumstances is dragging you. Dragging you all over. All over the place. Your mind is all over the place. Your spirit is molested by so many things. And you're trying to put control over things. And you're trying, you feel like you're holding up the entire world in your hand. And you don't know how to do it no more. This morning, your strength coming from the Lord. As you raise your hand this morning for strength. Raise it up. 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 You're a warrior. Raise it up. Raise up your spirit. You're not a weakling. Raise it up. You're called by God. Hallelujah. To be a demolition person. To demolish the kingdom of good, the enemy. To demolish the spirit of darkness from out of your midst. The spirit of God rest upon you this morning. Give me the oil one more time. Stop everything. We command it to stop. You're a radical person. Command it to stop right now. In the in your spirit, command it to stop. It must be subjected to you because God has given you the spirit. God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of love and power and of a sound mind. God has given you power to tread upon serpent. God has given you power to speak to your situation. God has given you power, woman of God. Rise up under the power of the anointing of God. Rise up. Raise that spirit. That's it. Rise it up. Stop being, stop being, stop being, stop being afraid. 
Stop being weak. Rise up now. Rise up, woman of God. You're a giant. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Rise it up. In the name of Jesus Christ. Raise up your spirit right now. Raise it up right now. Raise it up right now. Weeping is over. Tears are dry. You ain't crying no more about this. No more crying about this. It's warfare time. Your power is on your knees. Your power is in your fast. Raise yourself up, woman of God. The power of God give you strength. The anointing of the Holy Ghost give you strength. Fill her with the Holy Ghost and with power. In the name of Jesus Christ. Raise yourself up. The dragon is over. God is going to let you run from now on. Give you the ability to run through troops and leap over wall. In Jesus name. Raise yourself up. Woman of God, I want you to run. You're not no no spirit ain't gonna be dragging you all over the place. In the world that was, you were a radical. In the world that is now, the Spirit of God has called you for this purpose. You're a fighter with strength. Hallelujah. You're a militant for God. No longer dragging around. No longer lame. and No poor you and poor thing. No longer, amen, crippled in the spirit. Amen. Confused in the mind. But your faith level is going to give you the strength to run. Run and come back with all you got. Run for the name of Run in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Come on and give God praise in the house. Hallelujah. Glory. Somebody shout glory. Glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory by the blood of Jesus. Glory in the name of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone standing. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. Come on and give God praise. Hallelujah. Everyone sing the chorus one more time. Touch somebody and testify that song to them. Find somebody and sing it to them. Sing. What is done for her? Come on, sing. Look at them eyeball to eyeball. To only one person. You only need one. and Just one. It is Look at them. Hope so Testify. Will come on, come on, come on. Look at her and sing. It is no sin. What a God can do. Just one more time, tell somebody. It is no secret what God can do. What is done for others, He'll do. For you, oh, we give us one hope. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Here is no secret. Hallelujah! What God. One more time, believing that. Talk to yourself one more time. It is no secret. What God you can do. With that little bit of faith, with that little bit of faith. You can do 
What is that for us? He's about to do it right now if you believe God. Oh, hallelujah. He will do for you. Oh, blessed be the name of God. When his arms are, oh, I know, wide open. Oh, believe God, release that faith. He will abide. Pardon you, pardon you, pardon you. There is no secret. What a God can do. Oh, praise God. Thank you. With his arms wide open. He will pardon, pardon you. He Hallelujah. will pardon you. Thank you, Jesus. There is no secret, no secret. Thank you, God. What God can do. Yeah, yeah, yes. Oh, where is, where is I'm so I know. Oh, hallelujah. Open, oh, open, oh, open, open, open. He will pardon you. There is no secret. Say what God can do. Come on, believe God. Where One more I, time. Oh, where is I? Clench yourself. I know a bad. Said he will pardon you. Woo! Thank you, Lord. No Thank you, Jesus. What my God can do. We bless your name, God. Oh, Hallelujah. It is up, wide open, wide open, wide open. He will pardon, pardon you, pardon you, pardon you. It is no secret. What God. God can do. Hallelujah. With his arms wide open, wide open, he will pardon, he will pardon, yes, he will pardon you. Dearest. No secret, no secret, what a God can do, yes, yes, he can do. Secret. What God, yes, God, you can do. What He's done for others, He will do for you. God, with your arms. Hallelujah, wide open. He will pardon you. It is no secret. What a God can do. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we praise and thank you. We thank you for the moving of your spirit, God. We thank you for your word this morning. We ask you to touch 
even right now. In Jesus' name. Is there one I still can't close until we know that it is well with every soul in this place? Is there one here that will say, Lord, I'm not saved and I need salvation. If there's one, will you raise your hand? Will you raise your hand? Preach, I need to be saved. All the moving doesn't mean salvation. Is there one? I want Christ in my life today. If it's well with your soul, would you raise the, your hand and say, it is well with my soul. It is well. Amen. At this time, you're in the hands of the, praise the Lord. It is no secret what God can do. What is done for others, He will do for you. Say with his arms wide oh, open, he will pardon you. There is no sea secret. Say what God can do. Amen. Praise God. At this time, amen. We are going to transition. It is, uh, we're going to um, collect.